The climate crisis is one of the largest health crises of our time. Diseases like diabetes, cancer, cardiovascular and respiratory diseases are increasing due to air pollution and extreme temperature. People are dying prematurely and the most vulnerable populations are the most impacted. Ironically, the healthcare sector is contributing to this crisis, producing around 5% of global greenhouse gas emissions and an even higher share of national emissions in some developed countries. We need action, not pledges, to accelerate the delivery of net zero healthcare. Care that is good for people, economies and the planet. That's why we're working together, from the lab bench to the patient's bedside, by working together across the healthcare sector and beyond, and across the public sector and the private sector, we can make serious, long-term, sustainable change. With the majority of healthcare emissions coming from supply chain, this is a key area of our focus. We've published joint minimum targets of our suppliers for carbon, as well as water, waste, and heat. This is the first time our sector has come together in this way, and we've engaged with hundreds of suppliers on our expectations. We need to focus where we can have the most impact. China and India are key countries for the manufacturing of medicines and vaccines, which is why we're working together to create renewable power sourcing models and making it easy for our suppliers to join us in buying low carbon energy. Together, we can achieve more, better and faster. By working collectively on green power purchase agreements in Asia, we can help decarbonize global supply chains and send a positive market signal beyond our sector. And we're not stopping there. We're working on how to improve patient care while reducing its environmental footprint. We're working with several healthcare authorities and expert partners on a framework to measure the environmental impact of our medicines. A needed tool we hope will create more sustainable healthcare systems around the world. Such consistent and transparent metrics can highlight where emission hotspots are and therefore where we need to reduce them. We are also engaging with leading universities and educators in several countries to encourage sustainability to be taught to the next generation of healthcare professionals. That could make such an impact. In addition, we are making progress to develop digital tools that can better monitor and reduce emissions during clinical trials. Our learnings will help ensure that future medicines are developed in a more sustainable and accessible way for patients worldwide. And we're looking at the wider health ecosystem, exploring how reaching people before they become patients and bringing care closer to the community can improve health outcomes and reduce environmental impacts. It's clear that we must and can decarbonize delivery of healthcare. And we're committed to doing our part. We'll do that by focusing on very specific actions and by collaborating with governments, healthcare professionals and NGOs. Let's continue to do all we can to nurse our planet back to health and ensure that our health systems are resilient to provide care to those who need it wherever they live and that our health systems are fit for future generations.